morning. Morning. So today is Friday, day 11, I think. Um, yep, it's currently 5 past 11 and... 27 degrees. 27 degrees. We are just about to head out of the hotel and go over to Universal. We're going to pick up Ellie and Lydia on the way and then possibly meet up with Rob and Ashley when we get there. So, yeah, see you there. Bye. Hello, everybody. Hi. Uh, it's Rune Universal. Lydia and... Uh, Hello. Hi. Ellie. And we're in King Kong 3087. Seven. Um, yes. So we're heading into the box. Yes, we are. Still 27 degrees. And nice and sunny. Very warm. Yeah, very warm. Very warm. Too busy. Doesn't look. Doesn't look like it. So we'll, we'll see as we get in there. Right, we'll see you in a bit. Bye. Hey, we're going on Spider-Man. Oh. Hi. Huh? <laughs> But yeah, Spider Man was only a 20 minute wait, so we're heading on. But yeah. Can't actually film on it because can't film on anything in Universal, not properly anyway. Um, so we'll see you on there. Love, see you on. So I'm not sure if you can actually see us or not because I can't see the screen because it's very bright. Um, as you can see, it's very sunny yes. and very hot. So again, don't do what I did and forget okay. you can. So I, I had to buy a new one. I bought the annual pass holder book. It's a little bit cheaper there, $17.99. Yeah. Um, instead of $18.99, plus you get discount on top. Um, so, yeah, we're walking through Island lagoon. at the moment. It's Toon Lagoon. I really want to go down Ripsaw Falls right now because it's that hot. And if he does, he's going on top. Because no one else wants to do it. Uh, we're heading through to Hogsmeade. Yes. And we're going to go What's through to Forbidden Journey because Lydia's never done it. The girls wanted to hit the grip as well, but we're probably not going to follow that one. We did that last time around, but it wasn't brilliant. We might go to Hall of Bandage while they do that. Might do. Um, so yeah, have a little con. Show you con as you go past. So this is. Hey. Hi girls. Hello. <laughs> Spider Man broke. Oh yeah, we did Spider Man. Yeah, just gotta say that bit. Um, <laughs> what, what, which one's more than Spider Man? I liked it. It was basically like the Transformers ride, but with Spider Man. And it broke at the end. <laughs> but it was alright, I enjoyed it. same effect when you're falling and there's no sound. Yeah, we yeah, got a little it's, bit it's, stuck. It's, it's, it's more tame. It was a sensory development. Yes. That's it. We'll go with that. Sure, sensory deprivation, that's the word. Yeah. <laughs> Kongs are 45. Yeah, it it's uh, yeah. very warm, so stay hydrated if you're out here this time of year. But uh, we'll see you soon. So here we are coming through the Jurassic Park slash Jurassic World section. Is there a bit of Velocicoast? See Velocicoast in front of us. We've got little flyers up here through the trees, but we can't go on that because we're not kids. She might be scored. Yeah, she might fit the house farm and you go on that. Well, I'm thinking about that. Probably she has to have a little bit of it. Yeah, we can take it in turns. That's it. I think it's 20 unfair. The Jungle Dresser Park River Adventure. It's only a 20 minute wait. You no longer have to put things on the lock in the lockers anymore, so they charge you for the lockers. Because you can take things on, but you will get wet. So inclined, you can come and see blue. Uh, so it normally has a ridiculous weight. It's 20 minutes still. That's where you'd go to go and meet blue if you wanted to. That's Chris said that way. If you've got the freestyle drinks, the cups, and uh, in the pizza Pretoria, there's a freestyle machine there as well. There's quite a few dotted through this area, which is quite nice. Oh, 
Yeah. Hagrid's a 65, yeah? 65. Yeah. So what? Hagrid's a 35. Oh, <laughs> that was close. I almost died. It was like flashing before your eyes there, was it? It was, yeah. I need to get a life. I was quite impressed by that. Well, you should be doing a prize for that. Yeah, I don't do sports. <laughs> Although I do do balls. Yeah. That might make it into the final cut. <laughs> so, as we're coming out, you can see Hogwarts at the top. Trees don't quite cover up. Stay away from the vacation information section. Yes. Do not get to these points here. Uh, we'll say they'll give you free tickets, they'll give you free gifts. Well, but they, they, free they do, but they want you to come in for a two and a half hour um, timeshare tour at Westgate, at Westgate Resorts. So it's a third party that does it. Stay away. And we don't like taking no for an answer. Watering hole, you've got more Coke uh, freestyle machines just in case. And we're coming out of the Jurassic World Park gates backwards. If you want to look all the way up. Or if you give you one little wave, you get arrested. Well, yes, <laughs> uh, we'd not recommend whipping your wand out in the middle of Jurassic Park. People get arrested for less. So, as if by magic, we've gone from the jungles of. And we're now in Scotland. So you can probably hear the, uh, the Hogwarts singers. Leave a comment below, let us know what you think. You can probably tell from the tone of my voice what I think. <laughs> the worst accents I've heard apart from Hermione on the track. Well, and Merida. Something wicked is already here. Here we are at Hogwarts for Harry Potter and the Spoon Journey. So on this ride, you do need to put everything in lockers. So we go to the left. But yeah. Hi. So that's us off of uh, Spoon Journey. Would like to go 15 minute wait. So we were like on and off straight away. Pretty really quick. What are your thoughts? It was brilliant. Love it. Really good ride. Love it, love it, love it. So before you go on, you've got to put your lockers in over here. Um, lockers are here. And then pull my cap on. I know. Uh, for those who don't know, he. Oh, for, for, for the video, he died yesterday. But there was a. A one ceremony here yesterday for him at seven o'clock. I really like it, it's really well done, the theme is amazing. However, if you suffer with motion sickness like I do, drama mean is your friend. Before and after. <laughs> I was just say I'm a bit of a wuss and I felt that was a good good wuss ride, if that makes good. sense. Yeah, it was nice, it was fun, it was still a little bit thrilling, it looked beautiful, but not too intense, yeah. yeah. And I didn't cry at all. So that's a good so all round. We're also gonna go on flight of the hippogriff now and we're not. So, not a good we did it last time we were here, so... Oh, yeah, I've done it once. once Never enough. again. <laughs> it's Nothing, just, it's just... It's, 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 it's more for here. kiddies. Oh, yeah. But it is quite fun. And it was a long queue when we did it, so... Uh, also, I bought my out so I didn't pick one for someone that I was ready. So, we'll see you in a bit. Welcome to Hogsmeade. Where you've got Hagrid's Magical Creatures ride, which is fun. Uh, but always a long, very long wait on that one. And then some butter beer. But you get frozen. What are the options now, Steve? Frozen, regular, and hot. 
Oh, and you get the doggy with its shoes on. <laughs> yes, if you go in there, you can send it, and it says it's from the Wizard World at Hogwarts. And then we got the pub, and then the toilets with the spooky what's her face in it. What's her name again? Morning, Marl. Yeah. And then you have an Eloise and Olivia coming right at us, right there. See, there they are. Hello. So, what did you think? Mm -hmm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it was alright. And it was a coaster as well. I can't say no to it. If he wants to do it again, I'll do it again. But it's not, it has been the highlight of my day. <laughs> we had a frozen better beer. Yeah, this one was actually quite nice. This is the best time of better beer to have. That's what I Yeah. And now we're going to head somewhere you else. So, we'll see you in a bit. Hello. Hello. So, we're heading back through Jurassic Park area to go towards Skull Island to see what the wait time's like for Kong. And see if we end up on it. Maybe. It's still very hot. And very it's humid. Now. The humidity is definitely starting now, isn't it? So it's starting to feel hotter. But it also looks like it might very well rain soon. It's going to rain at three. At when? At three. Yeah. Ah, there you go. It's going to rain at three. Which means it'll probably rain from three to like ten. Probably. Bye. Hey, we'll see you when we get doing something. Hello. Hello. Hi. We're going on Kong. Because Lydia's never done it and the rest of us are insane. Yeah. How are we going on? We're just walking through. Yeah. It's very dark. Yeah, it's very dark, so that's why we look a little bit grainy. In fact, it's that dark you can't even see Lydia hiding all the way there at her back. She's there, bro. Anyway, we're going to go on this delightful ride that's the best ride in the universe. It is. So amazing. Or we're going to fall over the path. Bye. Bye bye. So that was Kong. That was Kong. Obviously, those of us who already have an opinion will not share ours yet. But Lydia, because it's your first time. Okay. <laughs> it was just, you know, it was an experience. It was quite mild. Mm. It was like the chicken korma of uh, 3D experience. <laughs> right? Yeah, it was fine. Oh yeah, no, it was okay. There we go. I say. <laughs> <laughs> But anyway, we didn't actually get to sit together either because the woman that was in front of us with her kid, they wanted to sit in the middle and not at the outside, so they asked me if I would go at the outside, but that was fine. Um, and now the girls have their lunch reservation for cowfish, so we're going to wander over that way. They're going to head out to that, and we are going to go and do something. Maybe meet Captain America. Probably. But hey, so we'll catch up in a bit. Bye. Bye. Quite nice, though, isn't it? Thank you very much. Thank you. So, we come to Confisco Bar. Confisco Grill. Confisco Grill. Grill. Confisco Grill for lunch. It's quite nice in here. Yeah. This is a new one for us. Yeah. And we'll get the QR code and bring up the menu.
So our food has arrived. I went for the Korean fried rice bowl with pork belly, which looks absolutely delicious. And Steve has gone for the pumpkin and squash, pumpkin ravioli. squash ravioli. So we'll let Steve try his first and then see what mine is like. It smells delicious. It smells amazing. There. You cut that in half again for me. The brown butter. Oh. The brown butter. Love you. <laughs> Quite nice. How nice is that? Beet me. That is beautiful. That was lovely. That was lovely. That's just. Mm. Yeah. Stay away from my dinner. Yeah. So you've got? I got the, spicy, the Korean fried rice bowl uh, with pork belly. So it's obviously fried rice, egg, pork belly, and like pickled cabbage and stuff. So actually try mine now. Yeah. Let's give it a little numbers. So Steve so, decided to go for dessert. I did. Chris did want to go for dessert. I wanted the key lime pie. They didn't have any. Out. So I went for the strawberry cheesecake, which is supposed to come with toasted almond on it, but it seems to be missing them. Mm. Well, the only thing that's lacking in this place. Afterwards. Bye. So we is having a little wander around the Christmas shop at Islands of Adventure, which has all the Christmas stuff, and we've got some Harry Potter stuff here. So Christmas decorations. We forgot to show you the Grinchmas stuff, but that's fine. A butter beer for the tree, or some Brighty Butts every flavour jelly beans. Some Hogwarts Christmas decorations. Stockings are cool. Platform nine and three quarters ones. Mm -hmm. Oh, for a wrap in your presents. Oh, that's quite cool. And then Hogwarts. Gold Crows Crests, which weigh a bloody ton. And they do little mini ones as well. Mm -hmm. And the Hogwarts Tree Topper. And sorting hat and the suitcase. Stocking holder. It's quite a nice idea. It is actually. And then we go to the other bits. That's more Harry Potter stuff. Hmm? Yeah, they do. What's it smell like though? Frosty points. Mm, that's quite nice. What's the next one? Gingerbread. That one. Mm -hmm. so, gingerbread. Oh, yeah. Mmm, meh. And then the red one. The other one. No, that's gingerbread. I've got two gingerbreads. Is it? No, it's frosted pines. Gingerbread, gingerbread, and gingerbread. But anyway, more honey. Towels. Towels? Towels? That's not towel, that's a pillow. Owls. Owls. <laughs> that's yeah. I don't know why that came out as towels or the Oh, the artifacts, which are quite cool. And they just got a reflection of your legs. But I like that the one. Which and that one, I'll like ask them for a part of one of them. Jobby. The thing that had the thing in it with the Dumbledore has. We know Ravenclaw's lost tie. See again. if I lived down there. Yeah. From Weasley. <laughs> mm. Ok. 
candied nuts. Ooh. They look delicious. That's if you dip your head in a bucket of nuts. <laughs> dip my head in a bucket of nuts. Wouldn't be the first time. Fudge, pumpkin pie fudge. Butterfinger fudge. Mm. And lots of s'mores. <laughs> <laughs> I want the hot cheese shirt. Sugar daddy. <laughs> no, actually, I don't know who I want to send that t shirt to. Minion popcorn buckets. And an Oscar. I'm sure they've got one for Steve here saying best drama queen. And then the retro stuff. I like the retro stuff. The colours, the brightness. Oh. R.I.P. Jaws, Hong Kong, and Monsters, and E.T. eventually, and Back to the Future, and Earthquake. E.T. is the only one that's still here, for now. Yeah. Anyway, so that was the shop. We are now going to wander over to Studios, and on the way over we'll give you a review of what we thought of lunch. We will. Bye. So, bye bye. Bye bye. Yeah, hi. So, um, we have just left Islands. We're heading over to Studios and we're going to meet Ellie and Lydia there. They've had their cowfish. So, Confisco Grill, we will review that. Um, the food, oh, it's absolutely amazing. amazing. In fact, like five out of five. It's top quality restaurant. Delicious. Quality. It's, it's not theme park <coughs> restaurant, it's. Restaurant, it's, restaurant yeah, it was really, really so nice. Good. The flavour on the ravioli, even though it was just um, squash and pumpkin, yeah, tasted amazing. And the pork belly had a nice spice to it, so that was very nice. And the good um, portion sizes. Yes, the uh, decent portion good. size. Um, however, we used the good price as well. Yeah, because mine was only fifteen dollars. Mine was twenty-six because I went for the pork belly one, but it was very nice. But no, it worked out quite well. Um, however, the cheesecake. Yeah, so <laughs> went for the cheesecake, went for the... I went for the strawberry cheesecake, obviously, because the key lime wasn't there. Yeah. Uh, it was meh. It was chewy. It tasted like you would get in anywhere, basically. Um, that tastes like what you kind of get at, like, out of Walmart. <laughs> yeah, it, like a, I'm not sure how... A store-bought the, cheesecake. The base is supposed to be, like, crispy, crunchy. And it wasn't. Even that was chewy. Yeah. Uh, the strawberry sauce on top. Yeah, it was wasn't chewy. very nice. It was just weird. Uh, and it was supposed to come with toasted almonds, and it didn't. Yep. Um, yes, yeah, so I was a bit disappointed with that. So for the for the dessert, because it's a very limited menu for mm. the dessert. There's only four items, um, and they only had three of them. I would give them probably a three for the cheesecake. Yeah, I would probably go two because it really just it did not float my boat. But my my main the the ravioli demo five. Yeah. The Five downside, plus. however, however, the service was kind of terrible for us. Other people seem to be getting good service. Yeah, our server, who will remain nameless, even though I do remember her name for a change. Um, but yeah, so she basically came to the table to take the order. The next time we seen her was when the food came. No, in fact, the next time we seen her was after the food came when she came to ask us how it was. And then we didn't see her again until like. We'd Way finished. after we'd finished. Empty we glass, empty food bowl, empty everything. And I went to the toilet when she came up to ask, Oh, would you like anything else? Any or no, would you like desserts? dessert? Didn't I ask like, if we wanted another drink or anything. I said to her, well, we'll have a look at the menu, but can we have two Cokes, please? Yeah. So she went and got the Cokes and just dumped them on the table, didn't take away the old glasses. Yeah. Still had our plates on the table. And, and then eventually took the order for the dessert. Yeah, but, it just yeah. wasn't... It wasn't impressive, especially considering the other tables were getting really decent service and we weren't. But then we so. said to her at the start, we're on your we so that so she'd be able to do a discount before she printed the check, so that yeah. she's not going to do it twice. Yeah. And then she came and brought a check over. But yeah, um, so well, yeah. service wise, <laughs> it wasn't great. Um, so right now, like I said, we're just heading over to Studios. I would probably eat in Confesco again because I like the food. Yeah, definitely. I would um, definitely do And again. that was definitely worth it. But just while we're walking over, we will show you our lovely view right now. It is pretty nice out here right now. The view of City Walk. And the boat's coming in. Yep. So these river boats go between the hotels. Hard rock. 
and obviously over there, that I just showed you, the NBC um, Grill and Brew Sports Bar place. That was going to be our other option for lunch, which because they've got some Look wings nice. that I really want to try. Um, so maybe we'll try there over the weekend. Yeah, yeah, we'll head in, we'll catch up with Ellie and Lydia. See what they thought of cowfish. And see what their thoughts on cowfish were, and I think we're going to go and ride E.T. Yeah, but it does seem if that... E.T.'s open. So, uh, E.T.'s open today. Okay, cool. It just seems that recently our experience with Universal Ref restaurants, the service hasn't been good. Yeah. Although, so, technically... The food's good, but... I mean, Toothsome and Cowfish, they're not technically Toothsome Universal. Is, Toothsome is, is Universal. Oh, not it's fast universal fast. owned because oh. it's done through their, their reservations. Oh, well. Cow, cowfish is independent, but Toothsome is a universal one. But again, the food has been phenomenal, all of them. Yep. It might just be that we're just unlucky enough to have kind of shitty service servers. That we get. Yeah. And it's not even that our expectations are too high. If it was maybe one or two places, then you could think that, but no, our expectations yeah. aren't that high at all. I mean, we lay an IHOP or Denny's, so we don't have expectations. So, yeah. Anyway, for now, we're going to let you go, and we'll see you in the park. See you soon. Bye. Bye. Yeah, look, walk over to Universal Studios. For Bride Walk at one. We've not been on that for years, to be fair. And the Universal Globe, which hasn't spun the entire time we've been here. Not sure why. Yeah, lovely, lovely day. Isn't it? It is. Very nice Gorgeous day. day. Gorgeous, sunny. Not too hot. Not rained yet either. It's starting to get humid though, so there's a little bit. The it's clouds have nice, yeah. kind of cleared up a bit. Yeah. It looked like it was going to rain. And nice it was supposed to rain for away. 2 o'clock, it was supposed to rain. And then it was 4 o'clock. And it's 4 o'clock, so hopefully now it's 9 o'clock. Now it's 4 o'clock and the rain's not here. So. The Universal Globe. As you can see, there's a lot of people leaving the park because the park's about to shut for horror nights. Look what we found! Look what we found! Look! Look what we found! Look what we found! We found some people! Hello! So, how was your cowfish experience? It was nice! I had some of the best sushi I've ever had. And I had a really nice cocktail. They do a nice cuisine. What cocktails did you have? I had a blackberry margarita, which in America, blackberry margaritas come in pint glasses, which is nice. Nice. And then I had a summer breeze, which was also nice. Eddie hated it. Uh, she realised I had boba tea and gin in it. Two, two of things her, I dislike. Ooh. Two of her nemesis. But yeah. yeah, I had a better pecan. A cocktail. Yeah. Ooh, Which is basically nice. a milkshake, a caramel, yeah. salted caramel milkshake. Um, my nice. food was okay. The chips were. They taste like KFC chips. They like taste bad. like chips had been left out and reheated. Yeah. Um, and the burger was okay, but like. What burger it, did you get? I had the uh, rice and swine. Um. But it took, tasted nice. Yeah, it took like 45 minutes for a medium burger and um, sushi or sashimi, which is famously uncooked. It's yeah. quite bad that the fact that you had actually just been sat when we had already ordered and we're about to have our food. Yeah. So we went. We, we were 10 minutes late for our reservation. Fair Still, enough. They're supposed to hold but it took them 25 minutes to seat us. People were told 20 minutes on walk-ins were sat before us, yeah. which was annoying. And um, we went to the stand. He's like, oh yeah, they're just cleaning your table. We got to our table, she brought over our coats pretty quickly, um, then the cocktails, and then didn't see her for ages, she came back, got the refills, um, ordered our food, disappeared. She didn't check in with us when the food actually came either. Yeah. So like, and she just at the end, she said, do you want anything else? No, here's your bill, sort of thing. But she gave us uh, to go cups, yeah, so. which I love. And he's like, that's standard, Lydia. And I'm like, I don't care. I love it. It's, it's standard. Not in the UK. But well. it's not it's standard in the UK. It's standard standard so want to leave yeah. with you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so, can we do that for you to get you out? Yeah. <laughs> so see, it's not just it's not us that are experiencing crap service. Yeah. It's everyone. Well, the only good thing about it is that the recommended tips are 18 and 20 percent. And like Disney and other places, we're at 25 percent now. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And my sushi was really, really good. One of the best pieces well, of sushi I've had in a long time. It's just a they shame a that. Sushi. Yeah, it's just a shame that her burger was okay and her sh chips were pants. Yeah. Uh, basically. <laughs> I mean, there was a lot of them, but I didn't eat any of them. And that's like she didn't check in with us, and she didn't. Oh, you look uh, like you're really full. You probably don't want desserts. And it was like. Tricky bastard. <laughs> Actually, I am really full. No, I don't want to say because I'm about to fall asleep after that cocktail. But the point is, the, yeah, the cocktail is strong. Yeah. Yeah. I would have had dessert and ours if they'd have had the key lime pie, but they didn't. For British viewers, the cocktails are a lot stronger than they are in the UK. Yeah. So they, 
Right, shall we head into yep. Universal Studios Florida? Not for Halloween Horror Nights, although that may look what we're going for, we're not because it's a Friday and the girls don't have a Friday. So, not happening tonight. So we're going to head in, we're going to head towards E.T. and see what we can do. So let's do this. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, it's bloody warming up again. Oh, it's still not rain. Yeah. We're not going back to the van. I don't know. 20% chance. There you go. If you didn't hear that, then it's down to a 20% chance, so hopefully it's not going to rain for the rest of the night. Yeah. Which is fine, because... No, I've said that. Yeah. Well, the exactly. The She's jinxed it. No, it's not Right, we're going to go through the turnstile, but I'm going to stop filming now, because, as you can see, there's a little bit of a queue. We'll see you inside. <laughs> so that says we are in studios now. So... It is getting a little bit busier because people are coming in for the stay and scream, seeing as it's now 4 o'clock. And the park shuts at 5 for horror nights. But yeah, we're not doing that. So anyway, we'll go a little wander around and we will go to ET. Hopefully we'll go to ET actually, we'll hope it's still open. We'll see when we get there. We'll figure that out on the way. It might be. It should be. Steve yeah, seems to think it's been open during the day so that's fine. Uh, but yeah, yeah, ET's a 35 minute wait. Okay, so ET's got quite a wait at the moment. I don't think I've ever seen ET at a 35 minute wait. But hey, well, I'm gonna wander over, but I'm also gonna pass over the camera to Stephen now, and he can do some filming because my arm's starting to hurt. So, here you go. This is Hi. See the scare zone before. <laughs> scare zone before it becomes a scare zone. Was on ET, but she didn't get sick, so not like filming ET. Thoughts? I love ET. Um, I liked it, yeah, it was very relaxing, uh, good AC. Uh, I didn't know how to sing the fan way though. They did not sing the fan way. Nope. I love ET, it's one of the best rides. It's very nice. It and I love it too. But it's fun. It's very dated, but who cares? It's still good. They should they never, never touch it. Never touch it. Yeah, they won't touch it. They touch it with this, but it's on them. Yeah. Anyway. Now we don't have a clue what we're doing. It's quarter to five, park shuts in 15 minutes. It's not a great deal we can do. But we'll figure something out and we'll let you know. Bye. Bye. So, hello again. Hello. Hi. Hello. So we're actually currently leaving Universal. We went on ET. I did go through a full spiel of what we done and everything and then realized, oh wait, hadn't, well I had hit record but lock was on the camera's control so it hadn't actually locked. It hadn't started recording so now we're going this way. Oh, we're going this way. Um, yeah, so anyway, went on ET, went in the ET shop and we've seen that Universal are doing a wearable blanket with qualifying purchases of $50 or more and you can get the blanket for $25. We didn't realize that but earlier on <coughs> We bought the lounge flies, so we asked them, can we take the fact that you bought the lounge flies and it's redeem it against the blanket and still get it on a good offer? And they said yes. So we did. So 
we got it. We'll show you later. Um, thoughts on HE, we gave you them on the phone, we think, but we'll find out later. So we're heading out of the park. Not sure where we're going. Not sure what we're doing. We'll, we'll figure it out. We'll let you know. But for now, everyone's heading out of the park because it's now closed. And it's so. Warm. And it's. Bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. 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 Yeah. bye. We'll see you later. Voodoo Donuts mobile pickup bit and the actual Voodoo Donut shop, which Ellie swears by them. I'm not a fan. Steve's meh. But yeah, they're also very expensive and there's always a huge line. So wouldn't bother. And up there is Martin Huntington Tattoo Company. Where one of these days I do want to get a tattoo, although I'd rather get my tattoo at Maui's tattoo when it finally opens in Disney. Not that I'd rather, but I will. <laughs> And we're going to go into the Universal Studios store to pick up Steve's stuff that he got. And then we can show you them later. But I'll show you around a little bit. You go and get your stuff and I'll come catch up with you. So we've got lots and lots of Harry Potter stuff. Um, all the different houses. Some Deathly Hallows stuff, which will obviously match my Deathly Hallows tattoo, but not in the same colours. Because mine is nicer. Yeah, all the individual house stuff. And these are the bags that we were telling you about that they had at the garage sale. Can't remember how much they were, but they're supposed to be ninety-eight dollars. But no, wasn't be doing and buying them. Look at the cushion though. And again, some of the artifacts that they had in the other one as well. And the chessboard. Okay. And then, just some random Hogwarts stuff. <coughs> More just map jigsaw puzzle. Mm -hmm. Hogwarts fleecy blanket. Actually, nice and soft. And then into regular Universal Studios stuff. So, uh, let's go. See if we can find Steve. I don't know where he is though. Yeah, He's over here somewhere. But not sure where. Hey, oh, Tenham. He's over there. He is in the queue getting his pickup stuff. <laughs> Let's hope so anyway. Anyway, we'll catch up with him. And get some cool pickup stuff. And, oh, and This is a blanket we bought earlier. Okay. There you go, $25 with a 40 or more purchase, which it did say 50 more in the park. And it also says a $50 value on that when he rung up as well, I suppose it's 50 cats. Lots of Simpsons and Minions stuff. And a fluffy unicorn. And then back over. No, he's not got stuff on. And there's the minions looking at minions. Mm, hey! <laughs> and lunch flies. I don't think it's ever. You can't remember if that's pretty cool. Cat and Heart. Eloise. And then lots of horror night stuff. We've already shown you all that, so I'm not going to bother showing you it again because it's very busy. We'll just wait for Steve. So we're going to the Disney Character Warehouse at the other mall. Let's have a look, see what they've got. This is the first thing Steve goes through, is a ball. Very random. I don't know why, but I like it. It's actually quite cool. Put keys in. Yeah. I thought they were part of the display. They look like it, don't they? <laughs> yeah. I thought they would like Haunted put knickknacks in the system. <laughs> <laughs> Seven eight. Seven eight. I can't remember if I can put finger in my mouth, but they're pretty cool. Uh, I know they'd end up getting broken one night. Yeah. Nice downside. <laughs> you picked something up already. That's pretty cool. So lots and lots of clothes. Lots of random. I was going to say random, I have no idea what this shit's all about, clothes, but it's Avatar. There you go, number. additional 30% off. So, that's a good offer. If you can find something you actually want. Which is always a very much hit or miss. Awesome. 
for you, bro. Buzz Lightyear. Ambitory. Ooh, it's got button. It's a Bluetooth speaker, but it doesn't do nothing. I'm guessing it's meant to light up, but it doesn't. Nuimos. Okay, there's a check here. Okay, there's a strong with the force. Yes. Is that shirt again? Oh, the 50th one. Yeah. But see, I just think apart from obviously the sleeves, it's very plain. What do we guess? $12.99. $14.99 and now $35. There you go, even better. Heard it here first. Get yourself down here for some 50th shirts. Or the Steve, Stephen, the 50th medallions, nice. the four coins for $10. can't remember what it was when they were in the parts though. I'm pretty sure it was more than that though. No, it's Jesus. That would just give you a headache, wouldn't it? Is it actually 3D or just looks 3D? I kind of want to get 3D glasses and put them on now just to see what it looks like. <laughs> I think they're women's though. And again, I'm sure you can wear them. Yeah. It's not actually as busy as normal in here right now. It's a kid's crap. Oh, don't want kid's crap. Mm. Yeah, Stitch Pride Patch kicking a rainbow. Is he meant to be kicking it or is he meant to be eating the rainbow? Not sure. Neither am I. Oh. Can we look at the clothes? One more, look in a minute. We'll give I don't think there's much more to look at because there's a lot of crap over there but I'm not going to get to it, so it's a bit, yeah, meh. Got some cool. Do they have any loud ones though? What? Well, Is that the beach picnic blanket thing? Mm -hmm. See, I like the shirt, remember the t-shirt we seen, the Buzz Lightyear one with that? That kind of style. Marvel bowls and stuff. And Marvel whisk. <laughs> oh look. I wonder how much that is in here. 1999. You got it for 12.99. And that was there as well? Yeah. The 12. As was that. Right, I think we're going to stop showing you around now because I've had enough. You can guess what else the rest is and you can see it maybe later. Bye. Hello everybody. So Hello. we are back in the car. Yes we are. It's uh, a little bit darker since you last saw us. Don't know where they last saw us. When did they last see us? We don't know. Don't leaving Universal. They're leaving Universal yes, last time we saw us. We went to the outlets <coughs> on Vineland. <coughs> no, no the other one. one up there. Although, Although, the international drive went to the Vineland. Although we were um, supposed to be going to the Vineland one, we didn't. Yeah. So yeah. we ended up going to the Disney outlet. Um, Bath and Body Works, of course. Yes. And uh, Ellie, we went to Vans. We went to Vans, yeah. Um, so Ellie hasn't got enough shoes. And we haven't got enough Bath and Body Works stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's very true. Or Disney stuff, so. Uh, I, I bought a very cheap t shirt, only $7.50. Nice. Very, uh, very nice. That's so we are in the car, we are now heading over to Old, Old Town. Old Town, kiss me. And we're going to head down to the haunted house down there. Yes, we're going well, to have a wander around, have a wander around as well, yeah. but we're also going to have the shot Because it's test. Friday night, so it's going to be, it should, might be the uh, Classic cars. cars. Classic cars is a Saturday, is it not? Oh, is they it? do have some muscle cars usually it's as muscle well. cars on a Friday, muscle yeah. Cars. So, we'll be interested to see what's down there and we'll show you around. Um, and uh, we'll do the haunted house while we're down there. Yep, and we'll put the link for it below. We will, we'll link it all in. Alright, we'll see you soon. Bye bye. 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 Hello. Hi. Hi. So we are now at Old Town in Kiss Me. So there you go. It is 20 past 8. We're here still. because we're going to plan on doing the haunted house and whatever else we're going to see here because Lydia has never been to Old Town. So we're going to So yeah, we'll take you with us and show you around. Let's go. Yeah, we'll try and talk over it because there's music everywhere. That's all right. You speak. <laughs> don't want to cover right, so we're going to try and talk over it. Yeah. Lots of random <laughs> Yes, this is all time. 
car show as we came out, it was straight on. Yes. <laughs> 
and then we're now just wandering around Old Town. We might even head down to the magic shop because it's always fun. And we'll let you have a look around at all this. AW, you don't see AW very often anymore. You used to have the normal food for, so they got rid of a little bit. Yeah, they do a really nice root beer float. And their chili cheese fries are good as well. Oh, see, they still have the electric, the electric chair, dude. Nino, Nino's. Gold. Yeah, that's a bit over there in these like, kind of tiered thing is where you sift for gold and gems, which is a waste of money, don't bother doing it. Not much point in it. I think there is a lot of places that close down in Old Town because I don't know whether it's the rates or whether it's the fact that it is kind of. Cheap crap shops. It's also quite cool, excuse me. It's, it's quite hard to get to if you're staying in like high drive or something. Yeah, high drive area. Where a lot of people go to now to stay and they don't stay in the crap shops. Yeah, it's these random shops that have been here for like forever. Like that Chinese gift shop, that's been here as long as I know. So I wonder how they managed to stay open because I mean, who's going to buy a crap like that? Egyptian gifts. Yeah. Egyptian gifts. And mini queens. And of course another smoke shop. Because there's smoke shops everywhere now. That shop's quite cool for some of the old school stuff though. The barber shop. Is the magic shop shut down? Wow. Wasn't it there? Yeah, it was. Surely not, because I still get emails from them because I bought something like them once. But they're not in that one. There's not one of these, but... Yeah, so it looks like the magic shop's no longer here. Unless it has moved, we might find it. Oh, there's a dog. See, dog. And then you got a little fairground bit down here, which... This is fun spot, America. That wasn't it. Yeah. Maybe it's on the other side. Might be, nah. Should we go up? So you get a fun spot, fairground rides? No thank you. Unless you want some broken ribs or something, I wouldn't address it. Kiss me popcorn company. So yeah, there's, there's lots of music playing, so that's why we were just talking a lot of crap the whole time. But, it's, it is what it is. It's old town. It's been here for a long time. And it's always looked kind of the same. Not much changes with it. But still fun night to just come wander down. I wouldn't spend too long here, but I would definitely come down and look. If you were coming around to go for a wander, yeah. it's worth having a look. It is. Or if you want to buy some people some random crap, like an old town t-shirt or some soap. Or some CBD bath bombs. They might be good for your back. Maybe. It could be. We need all car drivers, all car drivers to the stage. Or crappy jewelry. We're about to give away a thousand dollars here in just about ten minutes. All drivers to the stage, please. One of the drivers gonna win a thousand dollars. Yeah. I'm not sure which one I'd give it to them. The one with the little dog. Baby. <laughs> just the little dog is cute. We're biased because they have a dog. Yeah. So because they have a dog, they win. And then you've got this big thing up here, which you just, to you will just look like three big white pillars. So the one at the back, well the one at the front's got a sack attached to it. <laughs> that you get put in almost like a body bag. And then you get drawn right up to the one at the back, and then Lego. I've wanted to do it for years, but Steve will never do it with me. And it's also quite expensive to do, it's about $60 or something. So, yeah. Oop, there we go, we're getting crossing over before the cars come. And then you've got the arcade. There's more doggy. Same doggy, different doggy? Yeah, I think there's a different doggy. Nice doggy. The arcade's right there. Will you win tickets for prizes? Yeah. Ellie put a dollar in and make them holler.
we're gonna go in here. So we're gonna stop filming now for a bit. So these three went and got daiquiris from the Happy Daiquiri. Steve got what? A virgin, rub, virgin mango. A virgin mango daiquiri. What is it? Ready? Nice. Eloise got? Oh, uh, this is the passion fruit with rum. Did you get virgins? No, you got rum. But, rum. And that one is? This is no, no virgin, sailor. This is... Uh, <laughs> Virgin on the pussy. Anyway, and the girls bought some jerky sticks. Yep. So now we're gonna go wonder. Even though we're gonna go play the doggy. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. What? Put a camera in the What? Cool. Oh. Lovely sounds. <laughs> you can get piercing and tattoo as well. <laughs> Put a Mickey tattoo? <laughs> Where? Lots of doggies. Downtown Delhi. We had something from there before. We had the Jairus. Yeah. Or Heroes, whatever you want to call it. We had it. And it was actually really nice. Yeah. Anyway. Wonder who won the car show. I love that thing. I love that thing. And then you've got more fairground rides over there where the big swingy thing is. And lots of places to get alcohol. Like the bad karaoke bar. Sun on the beach and painful on the ears. And then there's where you get the old fashioned photos or a pirate photo now. Little black and white ones. I'm sure Derek got that when we were here. Yeah. And a sports shop with all the team stuff. Which we did go in the last time I was looking for an Orlando City show. And then the best bit of the night was the haunted house, which was so much fun. Oh, I've seen on TV clothes, we missed it. Because I would probably have bought something in there just for the sake of it. I would have bought some random crap. That's what was going to happen. That is quite cool. See, I told you, you always find random cool stuff in there. It's just a shame they're now closed. Hello. Phone covers. I don't think I'd trust them to repair my cell phone. Watches and jewelry. I think I bought a camera in there once. Oh my god. Now that I want. Ellie. A pepper gel and a stun. Oh, one of the shooty stun guns. And nunchucks. I think that might be a little bit excessive. That is quite cool. Though. But it would get your point across. <laughs> I want the pepper spray. I don't know why I want the pepper spray, but I want it. What's in random doing? Looks so fastidious. Cheap drop. Plenty of vape drop. Plenty of vape stuff. Plenty of weed stuff. Okay, cool. Lots of places to buy weed. Oh, the stage. Right, so we're coming back up to the start of Old Town now. So I think we are probably gonna leave it here for a bit because we're gonna go and get some tea. Not sure where, probably not in Old Town. But probably go somewhere else along the 192. So there's lots of restaurants and stuff. So there's plenty nearby that we can go to. 
Um, again, not sure how much you can actually hear right now of us because it is loud. <laughs> but once we have decided where we're going, we will tell you and we will show you. So we will see you soon. Hello. 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 So we have decided to come to Applebee's for dinner and I can't fit all four of us in, so we're just going to go by. Um, yeah, Applebee's for dinner and we've got our sodas so far. The girls are having... Uh, the chicken one from Taco, we just went one to share. And we're having the uh, double fried crispy shrimp. Yeah. And we're also getting a cracker cheese and a uh, tipsy zombie cocktail. Mm -hmm. five each. I'm having the um, wonton tacos to myself because I'm not sharing, uh, and I'm having the bacon cheeseburger. I'm having buffalo boneless wings and quesadilla cheeseburger, and Steve thinks he's not sharing, but I'm having a taco. So, mm. and we will show you a picture of the five dollars spooky sips as well. Mm. In fact, we'll just show you them when they get here. Show you everything else when they get here. So, bye. bye. And here are their cocktails, <coughs> which they're going to taste. Cool. So that's the Dracula juice, and obviously Ellie's face says a lot about that. Lydia, your thoughts on it? Hmm. I think um, Ellie's fussy. So. Uh... <laughs> and the zombie, the tipsy zombie. Oh. And Ellie's face doesn't go with that one either. So I'll, I'll have a brain though. So Lydia might be pissed tonight. Fine. That one's my shoulder too, actually, the zombie. Uh, so I think I the lesson here is that Ellie doesn't appear to like Bacardi. I do like Bacardi, I don't like the mixer. It's like, um, it's like a melon. <laughs> you don't like melon? So the wonton tacos, the wonton tacos have arrived. Munch. Sure. Num nums, see? Chicken wonton tacos, get your big fan hand out of the way. Fan hand, I don't know what fan hand is, but get it out of the way. And the girls got the same. Mm -hmm. And Ellie's loving them. And Lydia's liking them. And they're too busy eating to talk, so that's fine. Do you want to eat and talk now? So, as everyone's in the middle of eating their appetizer, it seems to be the running theme with restaurants in Orlando right now. The mains have already come out. Our mains did get brought out as well. And I still don't even have a starter. Look, nope, empty table. <laughs> so, yeah, wasn't happy, so I told them to take it away because it'll be cold by the time I get it. But I've not even got my starter yet. The girls are happy to have their shrimp beers now because their tacos are pretty much done. Yeah. But yeah, I'm not, so have at it. My wings have finally arrived. They look nice. They look like they've just been thrown together. But also at the same time, the server asked us if we wanted us to bring the burgers back out. I said no, I want them remade. He was a bit surprised by that. Tough sh So dinner finally came out. I've got the quesadilla burger with fries. And Steve's got a... Uh, uh, yes, it came out considerably after we had got our starters because it was sent back to be recooked and it has been recooked and it's nice and fresh yeah. and bloody hot. But I'm still waiting for my Yeah, he's still waiting for Dr. Pepper. I don't think that's coming either. But anyway, I'm gonna eat now. Didn't finish my buffalo wings either, even though they were really nice. Hi. Hello. So we are back at the hotel. Yep. It, it is, is 11 37 pm. Um, don't know what the temperature is. Still 26 degrees. 26 degrees. Still quite warm. Yes. Um, we've had quite a nice day. Yeah, it was a really nice mm -hmm. time. Um, yeah, old time was fun. Yeah. The haunted house was brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, yeah, it was really So when we left you went to Apple Beach, that was a well, Apple Beach. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, that was interesting. The service wasn't very good. Uh, we dropped the girls off and we're back at home now. Yeah. So we had a few purchase, purchases today. Yes, we've got quite a bit um, of stuff. Yeah. Um, should we leave it for a whole video? No, we do all this stuff. Yeah. We haven't really shown you the other stuff we've got before, have we? No. The other so we'll stuff. do a proper so video. We'll do a proper haul video when we go home and show you all the stuff we bought. Um, but today's purchase was a couple of lounge flies. Um, the fleecy blanket that I told you about earlier. Uh, some bath and body work stuff. Maybe a Disney Castle souvenir. <laughs> um, yeah, so that was us. We're gonna go and go to bed now, and then tomorrow. Get up tomorrow because we are heading to Bush Gardens for the day and, and for Howl Scream as well. Scream at night. Yep. And I think it's oh, it's obviously Lydia's first time going. Yes, it's Ellie's first time. Ellie's first Howl Scream. Howl Scream, yeah. For Sorry. Bush Gardens Howl Scream. Um, but it's Lydia's first time obviously going to Bush Gardens at all. Yeah. Um, 
so we're going to head down there in the morning at, we're leaving Orlando. Around <coughs> about 11 o'clock. About 11ish, so get a little bit of a later start because we're going to be there until like 1 o'clock. It's until 1 o'clock tomorrow, which is And we'll be there until 1 o'clock. Uh, we might even hit the casino on the way back. Maybe. Maybe. We'll see. Um, but we'll take you with us and we'll film what we can in yeah. Bush Gardens. Uh, obviously, we can film on a lot of the rides in Bush Gardens, we just can't film the houses. Yeah. Well, that's so we'll film, scares on the shows. film what we can. Uh, so a couple of good shows we'll look at. So, yep. we'll try so and put it for you as well. Um, maybe grab some lunch on the way down, yeah. and then it's maybe get some dinner either in the park or after or whatever. Yeah. We'll see. Um, <coughs> excuse so, me. So if you've liked what you've seen so far, don't forget to hit the like button, um, subscribe so you see our future vlogs that come up, yep. and hit the notification bell so you get told when they do come up, it's every Sunday at 6. Uh, leave us a comment below, let us know what you like, what you don't like, what you want to see, and so on. Uh, and also don't forget to follow us on Instagram, the Chris and Steve to Disney, where there will be regular story updates, especially when we're out here. And uh, also leave us a comment there as well, let us know what yeah. you think. Uh, so we'll, we'll leave you there, and we'll see you next week for you guys, but tomorrow for us. And uh, we'll head off to Bush. Yeah. Good Bye. night.